Hello, hello again, kids. So we are now at quarter three of our lesson in science four. And in this video, we're going to talk about our lesson for week one, which focuses on describing force. All right, so for our first day, we're going to have an activity called Think, Pair, and Share. So you need to get a partner and talk about the things that we have here. So you need to answer these questions and share with your sitmate or classmate or someone about these questions or situations. So first, have you ever experienced being pushed or pulled by somebody? So naranasan mo na ba na maitulak o katakin ng classmate mo or ng friend mo or ng isang tao? Next, have you encountered situations where objects were pushed or pulled? So, uh, naka-encounter ka na ba? Nakaranas ka na ba ng sitwasyon na kung saan ang isang bagay ay tinutulak o hinihila? Third one, have you been involved in pushing or pulling something or someone? So, nakaranas ka na ba na kung saan maaring may tinutulak ka o may hinihila ka na isang bagay o ng isang tao? And then, in your experiences, was anyone hurt due to pushing or pulling? So, may nasaktan ba? Uh, sa inyong uh, sa iyong karanasan na kung saan may tinutulak o may hinihila. So sa ganitong klase ng sitwasyon kailangan maging maingat tayo kasi when you push or pull someone maari siyang masaktan. All right? And then for example, uh, especially uh, kapag kayo ay nasa hagdanan, no? Kaya laging sinasabi ng teacher na uh, walk slowly at huwag kayong tatakbo sa mga hagdanan kasi it might cause accident. No? Lalo na kapag nagkaharutan, mak-aksidente kang may maitulak o may mahata. So, it can cause harm or someone might get hurt because of this. So, try to talk about this experiences or if none, so mabuti na lamang kasi syempre delikado yung mga ganitong klaseng pagkakataon. So, you need to um, take caution and of course, we need to ensure safety of the students all the time. So, bakit ba natin na itanong yan? Because it has something to do with our lesson for this week. So, first, let's unlock first some content area vocabulary. We have four terms here. Movement, it is the change in the position of an object over time. So, ito yung paggalaw. So, we have here a symbol, uh, a running man, okay? Or, and then, number two, rigid objects. So, objects that are hard and cannot be easily bent, deformed, or compressed. So, yung symbol na ginamit or that we use is a rock, bato. Kasi hindi siya basta-basta na -basta, deform Hindi siya nababali, no? Or hindi rin siya nakakrush agad-agad. And then, soft objects. So, objects that can be easily bent, deformed, or compressed. So, our symbol or yung ginamit natin dito is a sponge, di ba? Kasi squeeze natin siya. And then force is push and pull. So yung symbol natin is a person who is trying to push something. So those are, are the some vocabulary that we're going to encounter in this lesson. Okay, for so for day two, let's talk about what is force. Ano nga bang force? Forces are pushes or pulls that stem from the interaction between two objects or between objects. Okay? So, nangyayari siya sa pagitan ng dalawang bagay. Force is a fundamental concept in physics that refers to a push or pull acting upon an object. It, it can cause an object to move, to stop, change direction, or alter its shape. So, ibig sabihin, yung puwersa raw or yung force ay nakakapagsanhi no, ng isang bagay para gumalaw, pwedeng huminto, magpalit ng direksyon, o kaya naman mabago yung kanyang hugis. A force exerted on an object can cause changes in an object's motion. Maari niyang baguhin yung paraan ng paggalaw nito. So, it can make an object start or stop moving. Pwede niyang pasimula ng isang bagay na gumalaw o maari niya rin itong pahintuin sa paggalaw. Speed up or slow down. Maari niyang pabilisin at kaya niya rin pabagalin. And number three, change its direction. So, maari niyang baguhin yung... Uh, direksyon na tinatahak ng isang bagay. Okay. Now, let's talk about rigid and soft materials. So, what is the difference between rigid and soft materials? So, rigid materials, these are objects which considered rigid if it is hard and cannot be easily bent. Gas. At hindi natin basta-basta nabibend 
o kaya naman um, nababago agad yung kanyang um, hugis or napapaliit. So, rigid materials such as steel, glass, concrete, and diamond exhibit high resistance to deformation and maintain their form unless subjected to extreme forces. Yung mga bagay, halimbawa na yung bakal, yung mga salamin, yung concrete, may mga konkreto, hindi ba? Yung mga simento and diamond, ito ay nagpapakita ng no, yung kumbaga masyadong mahirap tong i-deform. Unless maglagay tayo ng um, matinding puwersa para baguhin natin o ma-deform yung kanyang shape or yung kanyang itsura. Now, what are soft materials? Soft objects can be easily bent, pwedeng mabali, deform, or compressed. Soft materials deform easily when a force is applied and often return to the original shape when the force is removed. So, for the elastic material. So, kabalik tara naman siya ng rigid materials. Yung soft materials natin ay madaling uh, mabend or mabali or pwede nating mabaluktot, uh, ma-deform or mawala sa kanyang original na anyo and makompress or pwede natin siyang ma-squeeze o mapaliit. And then, um, sabi dito, soft materials ay ang soft materials ay maaring uh, mabago yung kanilang um, anyo kapag nag-apply tayo o kapag nilagyan natin ng pwersa. At maari rin ito, kadalasan sa mga ito ay maari rin at kaya nilang bumalik sa kanilang original na hugis kapag nawala na yung pwersa na ating nilagyan. So, para ito sa mga elastic materials natin like rubber. no Kapag, um, di ba, na-stretch natin, nag-apply tayo ng force sa rubber, so, napabago yung anun anyo niya. Pero kapag binitawan mo, nirelease mo yung force o yung pwersa, tinanggal mo, bumabalik ito sa kanya original na anyo. Okay, so we have here um, a table showing the difference between rigid and soft materials. So deformation for rigid materials, very difficult. And for soft materials, very easy to deform. Elasticity, no, yung uh, paghatak natin sa kanya, yung kanya, uh, yung kumbaga, ang uh, example natin is yung rubber band. So, um, rigid materials, low, hindi natin basta-basta yan nahahatak. And then, soft materials is often high because of the rubber itself. Strength, uh, very high or high for rigid materials. And for soft materials, low to moderate. And examples, for rigid materials, we have steel, glass, and diamond. And for soft materials, we have rubber, sponge, or clay. Alright, for day 3, uh, you have here a quick activity wherein you need to put an arrow Kung sa tingin ninyo saan nang gagaling or nagkakaroon ng force. So, we have here a girl pressing the phone screen. So, yung red arrows ang um, nagsasabi sa atin or determines where the force is exerted. So, a boy is carrying a bag. So, of course, nandun yung uh, puwersa sa pagbitbit ng bag. Then, boy is pushing the light switch. Boy is pulling a chair. A bigger hand is pulling the rubber hand or rubber band. The girl is sweeping the floor. So, makikita natin yung arrow or yung direction kung saan ang gagaling ang force. So, force is a fundamental concept that impacts students' lives in many practical and educational ways. So, akala natin walang puwersa, no? Hindi mahalaga yung puwersa sa buhay natin bilang mag-aaral. Pero, napakahalaga pala nito at lagi itong nangyayari sa buhay natin bilang mga estudyante. Um lalo na sa paghubog ng inyong pag-unawa tungkol sa ating kapiligiran. No? And um, sabi dito, shaping their understanding of the physical world and aiding in their daily activities. Here's why force is important in the lives of students. So, force is a fund fundamental concept in various subjects, including physics, engineering, and sports science. It helps students understand how things work sa pamamagitan ng force na unawaan natin kung paano ba nangyayari o nagaganap yung isang bagay. Bakit gumagalaw? Paano gumagalaw? It improves athletic performance and helps them perform everyday tasks efficiently. Force is also part of fun activities like playing toys and building blocks. So kapag tayo daw pala ay naglalaro, ay gumagamit na rin tayo ng force. So, for example, kapag uh, naglalaro tayo ng toy car natin, no, yung pinupull natin, hinihila, and then pag nire-release, di ba? Tumatakbo yung ganong klaseng car, no? Yung um, pag hihilahin mo siya, pa, patalikod, 
And then, pag nirelease mo, tatakbo ng mabilis yung um, toy car. And then, building blocks. It also fosters problem-solving skills through science experiments. Force also promotes safety awareness, teamwork, and collaboration. So, ito yung mga nagagawa ng force no? o pwersa sa pang-araw-araw nating buhay. Alright, so for day 4, so we have here some integration and connection. So, we have the real-life uh, connection. We're in. We need to be aware of how things around us are moving. For it helps us understand the potential dangers and avoid accidents. So, for example, being aware of moving vehicles on the road can prevent accidents while crossing. So, di ba? Uh, tinuturoan tayo na always, doon lang tayo tatawid sa pedestrian lane. Pa and then, before tayong tumawid, before we cross uh, the street, always look on your left and on your right. So, make to make sure na walang, duma uh, walang dumadaan na mga sasakyan. So, next, um, learning how force or forces affect how things move is crucial because it helps us how forces affect the speed, in beliefs, direction, and shape of objects. So, for example, understanding the force of gravity helps explain why objects fall towards the earth. So, bakit ba nalalaglag yung apple no, from a tree? So, we need to understand the force of gravi gravity. So, ano ba yung force of gravity na tinatawag? So, it is an invisible pull that objects exert on each other due to their mass. So, it's what keep, uh, keeps us on the ground and makes things fall when you drop them. It's like parang um, yung center of gravity, no? Nandun sa gitna ng Earth is the one which pulls us down. Kaya hindi tayo lumulutang, di ba? Unlike yung mga uh, astronaut na nasa space, since there is no gravity, no gravitational pull, palutang-lutang sila doon sa kanilang area. We're in, pagbalik nila sa Earth, di ba? Parang nagkakaroon sila na naninibago sila kasi sanay sila ng palutang-lutang. Pero kapag bumalik na sa Earth, no, lahat ng bagay, di ba sabi, what falls, uh, yung mga nalalaglag, parang may humahatak lagi sa atin na um, pababa. No? So for, zim uh, for a simple explanation, so gravity is like a magnet between objects with mass. So the Earth is a hu is huge, so it pulls everything towards its center. That's why if you jump, you come back down, and if you throw a ball up, it falls back. All right. Another one is for values in integration, so we can ensure safety when pushing or pulling objects by making sure the area is free of obstacles to prevent tripping or stumbling while pushing or pulling. So we need to be careful, especially when we push or pull objects, lalo na kapag sa hagdana. So make sure na walang um, nakaharang na tao or onam anuman para maging accident. Free tayo. No, hindi tayo, hindi tayo maka-encounter ng accident. So, next we have here your assessment. Okay. So, you need to answer true or false. Alright. And that ends our lesson for this week about describing what force is so i hope you learned something from our discussion for this week so thank you so much so ako si teacher isa at maraming maraming salamat sa inyong uh, pakikinig sa ating lesson every week so i hope to see you again next week bye